I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered how much space we need and how much space we actually have on planet Earth? The surface area of the world is 197 million square miles and the current population is estimated at 7.1 billion people and it's expanding by over 200,000 people per day. But if you were to spread every single one of us out evenly across the planet, we would all get approximately 17 acres each. That's a lot. Imagine what you could do with all of that space. But sadly, 70% of us would end up with a plot in the ocean. And many of us would end up with an area that couldn't support life due to climate and topography. So just how much space do we need to survive? Well, according to the UN, the bare minimum amount of agricultural land needed to support just one person is point two of an acre. This means that an average size football pitch could sustain nine people. This assumes that everyone is living on a largely vegetarian diet because trying to raise a herd of cattle on a space so small could prove problematic. Well, quite. It also assumes perfect farming conditions, no water shortages and virtually zero waste. If you want some meat in your diet, Dr David Pimentel from Cornell University suggests that 1.2 acres is a little bit more realistic. But of course we aren't all spread evenly across the world. Population densities fluctuate enormously. At the upper end of the scale in Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh, 115,000 people live in every square mile. Here, personal space is limited. Personal space is that area around us that's psychologically ours, and it extends to a bubble about 60 centimetres away from us. But it varies. People who live in high density areas tend to feel more comfortable with less personal space than those who live in remote parts of the world. Greenland has the lowest population density and has just one person for every 8,900 acres. They have an awful lot of space, but what about the bigger picture? How much space is there in space? I mean, really, how much space is actually out there? Before we go into this, just a warning. Our public liability insurance doesn't cover us for blown minds. OK, let's start small. At their closest, Venus and Earth are 25 million miles apart, and Earth itself is 93 million miles away from the Sun, all nestled within their solar system, which is 24 million million miles across, or four light years. So we have plenty of space between our planets, but we haven't even got started yet. This is nothing. Our solar system is in its own interstellar neighbourhood, which is in the Orion arm of the Milky Way. Our galaxy stretches 100,000 light years across and is surrounded by a local group of 47 other galaxies, which cover 10 million light years. This is then within the Virgo supercluster, which is 110 million light years across, which contains over 100 other galaxies and clusters. This is then swallowed up along with other galaxy groups by a super cluster complex called Pisces Cetus, which is 980 million light years across. All nicely packaged within our observable universe, which stretches 91 billion light years. So no matter where you're watching this, whether it's a small lounge, a cramped bedroom or a packed train, I think it's fair to say we all have plenty of space. For more breathtaking stats on our natural world, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon on Earth Unplugged.